Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Stan. Me, Stan Kittle. We might as well get started. We have a lot of stories to read. Mr. Pine's Mixed Up Signs Stories and Pictures by Leonard Kiesel Mr. Pine made signs. He made signs that said stop. He made signs that said go. He made signs that said fast. He made signs that said slow. Mr. Pine made all the signs in Little Town. A town needs many signs. It needs signs for roads and streets and stores. Mr. Pine made them all for Little Town. He painted big signs, he painted little signs. He painted signs with words and he painted signs with pictures. Go this way, go that way. Or signs that said, look out, a road will close. Slow down, hole in the road. Yes, Little Town had all the signs a town could need. But little by little, the signs in Little Town got old. The rain and the snow fell on the signs. The wind blew them, and the hot sun baked them. Soon no one could tell what the signs said. We need new signs, said the mayor of Little Town. I will go and see Mr. Pine. And he did. Mr. Pine, we need new signs all over Little Town, said the mayor. Will you make them for us? Oh, yes, yes, said Mr. Pine. I will make signs. I will paint them all, and I will put them up too. We need them right away, said the mayor. I will do them right away, said Mr. Pine. You will have them all in one week. The next week, Mr. Pine painted and painted and painted. He painted big signs, he painted little signs, he painted round signs, he painted red signs, he painted blue signs and green signs, and at the end of the week, all the new signs were done. Now I must let the signs dry, said Mr. Pine. Then I can put them up in the morning. In the morning, Mr. Pine got out of bed. Well, where are my glasses? Mr. Pine said. He looked here. And here, and here, and even here. He looked everywhere, but he did not see his glasses. Where can they be, he said. Oh dear, everything looks so funny. I wish I had my glasses. Everything did look funny, but Mr. Pine had to put up the signs, so out he went. Soon the new signs were up all over town. Mr. Pine did not know it, but the signs looked funny, too. The town looked like this, and this, and this. Did you ever see a town look like this? Mr. Jones the baker went to open his store, and the sign above the door of his store said, Hats for sale. Mr. Clark went to open his shoe store, and the sign on the window said, Gas. Mr. Hill went to open his candy store. And the sign on the door said, Pet Shop, Cats and Dogs for Sale. Mr. Brown went to open his bookstore. And what did he see? A big sign that said, No parking at any time. Every sign on every store, on every street, on every road was new. But they were all mixed up. Over the bank, the sign said, Bread. The sign on Main Street said, Candy. And the sign on the mayor's door said this way to the zoo. Find Mr. Pine, cried the mayor. Find him fast. Soon everyone was looking for Mr. Pine. But where was Mr. Pine? He was looking for his glasses. Where can they be? He said again and again. And the cars in Little Town were going around and around and everything was all mixed up. One sign said stop, one sign said go, one sign said fast, one sign said slow. Stop, go, fast, slow, all mixed up. Find Mr. Pine, cried the policeman. And where was Mr. Pine? Mr. Pine was still looking for his glasses. Did I put them here? Or did I put them there? I must find my glasses. I want to see all my new signs. He looked everywhere, and at last he looked here, and there they were. 
how happy Mr. Pine was to have found his glasses. He ran to the window, looked out. Oh, no, he said. Oh, no. He saw this. Oh, oh, cried Mr. Pine. What a mix-up. He ran to find the mayor, and the mayor was running to find him. Mr. Pine, said the mayor. Mr. Mayor, said Mr. Pine. Then together they both cried, They're all mixed up. I will fix them right away, said Mr. Pine, and he did. Soon all the new signs were in the right place. Soon Little Town looked all right again. But no one will ever forget Mr. Pine and the mixed up day. Wasn't that a fun story? We'll see you next time for more stories with Storytime with Stan.